Okay, so earlier we talked about some foods that are good for your skin. Today we're learning to make a traditional Italian dish Good for my belly. <laughs> Good for your belly, that's right. And joining us today to help is Sean Correa, executive chef at Naj Restaurant in Rehoboth Beach. Thank you for joining us yeah, today. Thank you. So what are we making? We're making uh, spaghetti alla chitarra, uh, which is, uh, this is a chitarra right here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're making it with fresh spaghetti. Um, we're gonna start with uh, plum tomatoes, uh, confit tomatoes for the sauce, yeah. uh -huh. which has uh, cloves of garlic, uh, chopped rosemary and thyme, which you're gonna be chopping over here. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have a little bit of uh, salt, uh, to season with sugar, olive oil, and the mm -hmm. tomatoes. Yeah. And then for the veg stock, we have onions, carrots, celery, oranges, uh, a couple sprigs of thyme and garlic. Okay. Uh, this will be in the stock right here right. to make the sauce. Um, to make the pasta dough, it's three and a half cups of pasta flour, 27 egg yolks, one whole egg, two tablespoons of olive oil, a little bit of water and salt. Okay, and the, and the sauce so, is gone. Oh, yeah, for the sauce, we're actually gonna be uh, taking a little bit of garlic here. We're gonna slice some garlic. We're gonna mm -hmm. pick the rosemary and thyme and chop that up real fine. And we're gonna use the tomato confits from the recipe we have up there. And then we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of uh, pecorino and uh, some uh, parsley for uh, to finish. Wow. Right. That's a lot of ingredients. No now kidding. we're gonna get started. All right, <laughs> so, so what do we do? What do we do? Where are we starting? So I'm gonna have you use the uh, spaghetti, spaghetti alla chitarra right here. Now um, this is kind of hard to see on camera, so explain to me what this is. This is basically a pine box that is wrapped in uh, guitar strings. Right. And this uh, cuts pasta, and you uh, you can cut it one sheet at a time. This this side is spaghetti, and if you flip it over, it's actually linguine on the other side. Oh, okay. Huh. So we're just going to flour the pasta up can, a little bit. Can you tell he gave me a chance to practice this early? <laughs> we'll see whether or not I can do it. And I'm going to have you uh, pick the rosemary and thyme over okay. here. Okay. And we're going to chop it up really fine, uh, along with uh, slicing a little bit of the garlic. Okay, so I just chop it up, stem it all? Yeah, you okay. don't need the whole thing because uh, we're only making one little order here. Oh, okay. Okay, so while you're chopping that, what you told me, essentially what I am doing is I'm just squeezing this between the, the strings, right? That's correct. And uh, what you're going to do is it's going to come out about four uh, four knots of pasta is uh, your average portion. Yeah. So uh, about four knots at Naj is uh, a sp uh, entree size spaghetti alla chitarra. Okay. Am I so doing this right? Yeah. Okay. Th if you think about that, that's a, a lot of dough. Can you freeze it? So, yeah, this makes about two pounds of dough um, that you can keep in your freezer, and you can just pull it off in sections. If you want to make some raviolis or some spaghetti or something like that, you can pull it out and thaw it as you need it. Okay. I was going to ask you about the 27 egg yolks. <laughs> yes, it's a large recipe, and that's so you can so you can produce a decent amount of pasta and then store it or dry it yourself at home. Okay. Um, or you can use it, like I said, you can store it in your freezer and pull it out back in... Uh, uh, but the, the amount of egg yolks in there also preserves it and gives it this nice yellow color. Oh, so well, it doesn't good. oxidize or anything. Is like that this. enough? That's perfect. Okay, so we so can uh, start slicing a little bit of the garlic okay. and I'll get our sauce going. Sounds good. I just so made some pasta, Lisa. For the sauce, we're going <laughs> to add a little bit of butter into the pan. Yeah. And by the way, we're going to tell you here just a little bit how you can get all the, uh, the ingredients and the recipe for this. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to start by melting the butter in the pan a little bit. Right. All right, while butter's that butter's melting, I will tell you that if you send us a self-adjust stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801, we'll send you back the recipe. Or you can go to our easy-to-use, new and improved website, <laughs> WBOZ.com. You can give us a call as well, 443-880-9116. Also, if you want to cook right along with us, we post your shopping list so on cool. in the morning on our website, WBOC.com, so you can get out there and get all those ingredients. Yeah, you do need. that with us. That's fun. How's that, how's that going over there, Jimmy? Uh, oh, I'm loving this. He's probably got enough, but I'm going to so. keep doing it because I know how now. Okay. Yeah. So now that we have the garlic chopped up, we're going to add the garlic into the pan. Okay. So Some big, big chunks there, but oh well. <laughs> it's okay. You can practice your knife skills at home. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just gonna toast this garlic. Uh, that's one of the important parts. We were talking about smells earlier. Uh, this is one of the most important parts of the dish is to toast the garlic. You don't wanna burn the garlic, uh -huh. but you do wanna toast it a little bit. It, it lets out some of the essential oils and just gives a really nice aroma. And uh, when eating, you eat with your eyes first, your nose second, and your mouth third. Okay. So, uh, so this is a, a very important process, and we're gonna toast this. Oh, okay. Might and as soon as it's toasting, we're gonna finish by adding our tomato confit, a little bit of crushed red pepper for spice, and uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Alrighty. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit more here just to make sure that we've got enough. We're going to go to a break real quick. We're going to finish up what we're doing yep. here, and we're going to come back and check it out and see how well we've done. Don't go anywhere. Delmarva Life's going to be right back. Just like this. Eat this. All right. It smells good. <laughs> 